Hey YouTube, and uh, this is Ty Candorous here again with another video review. And as I said, I'd do a, review, a quick review for this guy. And this review is for the Star Wars Force Awakens First Order Flame Trooper 12 inch figure made by Hasbro. Um, and then a little blurb on the back says specialized stormtroopers of the first order flame troopers carry incendiary weapons that can transform any battlefield into an infernal blaze which is i think the exact same uh information that they have on the smaller three and three quarter inch figure let me just bring up the box there there's amazing artwork of the flame trooper if we just flip around to the front of the box it's just a open window box with a kind of plastic on it and it has again the image at the bottom force awakens logo same on top this blank bottom again another image from of the flame trooper at the side and at the opposite side is to also look for other figures which is the chewbacca uh finn and jakku i'm not sure if jakku is the planet or i'm pretty sure it's the planet but it could be his last name but ray also has jakku on her so i'm assuming that's the planet and then there's the Kylo Ren figure as well. Uh, moving on to the figure itself, it stands 12 inches tall and it's basically what you call, if you're familiar with the Marvel uh, Titan series, which is the same scale. It's pretty much one of those with a little bit of uh, basic articulation for them and not much else now main reason i got this guy is i want to attempt to try and customize him into a more fully articulated figure but before i do so i'll do a quick review of him as he is so he comes with a removable backpack that comes separate in the in the packaging and has a hose on it and the weapon just fits into his hand so you just click the backpack in in it presses in, doesn't click into place, and you just attach the hose to the bottom of the weapon, and he's able to wield his flamethrower in just the one hand, hence, as I said, basic articulation. The hands do have a wrist swivel, but other than that, there's no other articulation apart from the shoulder, and it can go just go up, or it can do a almost 360, I don't think, yeah, you can do a 360, as the backpack doesn't hinder, hinder the motion at all on it and I'll just do it for the other one and just try to get this guy into, into frame he's actually quite a little bit larger than my usual setup so uh, please uh, forgive me for not having a proper review station so inside arms go 360 and legs just go forward a small bit they don't go forward too much because they're hindered by the armor and they don't go back at all because they're hindered by the skirt plate on the armor now let's put the flame part back in and the head is actually on a ball joint but it is very very stiff i've had quite a bit of trouble trying to rotate the head but it is on a ball joint and you can get some posability out of it but overall, the overall design of him looks fantastic. I said it is a shame that there's, they're so limited on articulation, but for the price point, which over here was 24 euros, which is a bit steep for this figure this size, but it isn't too bad comparing it to prices of, say, the Hot Toys figures, which have been announced that they are going to be doing Hot Toys First Order Stormtroopers and I mean, it is a fair bit cheaper than one of those and if possible if i can customize it to have more uh, a bit more articulation to be able to at least wield the flame unit in two-handed poses it would be quite nice and maybe give the legs some additional articulation as there is nothing at the knees or ankles it's just at the hips and they can go very basically forward and back so overall that's my review Hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I said, it's only a quick review and just to give a quick view of the figure and what it's like and 
whether you want to buy one it's up to you as i said i bought this one with the intention of actually customizing it to make it a more articulated figure if i can pull it off um it'll be a kind of a big project it'll be one of my big be a first time for doing something this sort of scale or in this sort of project wise but i'm going to do a bit of research before tackling it so as i said if you like my reviews Hit the like button and subscribe if you want. It's up to yourself, but hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, have a great day.